We'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land and pay our respects to the elders both past, present and emerging, for they hold memories, the traditions, the cultures and the hope of their people. We would like to briefly explain our symbols for today's liturgy. Gospel book. We are learning community that is called out to live at the gospel and the mission of Jesus. Mission stick. We recognize the traditional owners of this land have a message that speaks of God, the creator. College candle. God has called us to be the light to the world and proclaim the kingdom of God. We are asked to be the light of Christ for others wherever we are. Advent wreath. The Advent wreath is part of our long-standing Catholic religion tradition, although it is possibly borrowed from the earlier Germanic faith traditions. The light from the candles signifies Christ, the light of our world. Welcome to our liturgy of thanksgiving for St. John's campus students and staff. It is a time to acknowledge our school year 2020 with all its highs, lows, good times and sad times for the people and moments we cherish as we move on to the holidays, Christmas and new beginnings. We bring to a close this academic year with all its uncertainty and disruption to our normal routines of study, work, recreation and family life. We give thanks to the year that was 2020 in the unusual time we have spent as community of Caroline Chisholm Catholic College. Our first reading and gospel encourages us to live a life based on wisdom and growing our relationships with a loving God. We also prepare ourselves for the celebration of Christmas through the season of Advent.
opening prayer. God our Father, our life is blessed with your many good gifts. Make us truly thankful for the gifts of our own personalities, for the gift of people who guide us and help us grow, especially our families and educators in our school. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Liturgy of the Word, first reading, a reading from the book Sarach. God is aware of our works and takes delight to in them. Our ways are always under God's eye. Nothing can be hidden from his sights. All our works are as the sun to him. Our alms giving, charity, is like a signet ring to him. He cherishes our acts of generosity like the pupils of his eyes. One day he will rise and bless us for our good work. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Savior. Because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid, yes, from this day forward upon his lowly hand, all generations will call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich sent empty away. He has come to help to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. Advent is a season of waiting and growing anticipation towards the second biggest event in the Christian calendar. Today's Gospel is a prayer and it is also a poem that is placed on Mary's lips to express her anticipation of the birth of her son, Jesus. It is Mary's prayer of gratitude and praise to God for choosing her as the mother of our Messiah. Mary's own personal experience of God's actions in her own life is the starting point of the prayer. My soul magnifies the Lord for he has done great things to me, and holy is his name. Mary has the spirit of hope for the Messiah, quiet trust in God, and openness to the future of God, and for her people. Mary was able to say yes to the message of the angel and be the mother of the awaited Messiah. The long period of waiting is over. The Messiah has finally arrived. God has shown God's self faithful to God's promises. Mary's prayer then sings and praises of this loving and ever faithful God. The Magnificat is a wonderful and hope-filled prayer. It is clear that Mary has reflected often and prayerfully on the social and political history of her people. In this history of ups and downs, success and failure, joy and sorrow, God has shown God's power. The God Mary praises with all her heart is certainly the loving and compassionate God, ever mindful of his mercy. The God of the Magnificat is clearly a God who is on the side of the poor and downtrodden, those pushed aside and oppressed by the rich and the powerful. This is the God whose son Mary bore in her womb with love beyond all telling. This is the God that Jesus Christ came to reveal. From the moment the angel left her, Mary knew that Jesus was present within her. But she had nine months to wait, to wait for her child to appear, to show himself so that she could see him, touch him, feed him, hug him and kiss him. Then she could look into his eyes and hear his cries. She would experience her child with all her senses, eyes, ears, touch, taste and smell. Then her waiting would be over and her joy would know no bounds. If we let Mary lead us, we can be certain that Christ will become more alive for us too and we will experience something of Mary's joy. This is what Christmas joy is trying to give us, something bigger than ourselves and a way of connecting with God's magnificent love for all of us. May this summer be a time for our family to recharge our energy for the new year, a year of hope and anticipation that will wash away any sorrow from the past and remake us and the light to the nations.
prayers of intercession. Let us turn to God with every prayer of our heart, redirected with hope and confidence and love. Let us give thanks for the past year, for the things we have learned, for the fun we have had, for the skills we have gained, for the help we've been offered, and for the friends we have made. In thanksgiving, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the people who have had a difficult year, for those who have had, for those who have been ill, for those who have died or suffered injury, and for those who are unhappy or anxious. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the world, for an end to human violence, for peace where there is war, for healing where there is hurt, for cures where there is disease, for food where there is hunger, for care for the environment, and for respect for all human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. In this upcoming session of Advent and, Advent and Christmas, may we seek the deeper meaning of the celebration focused on the birth of Messiah, Jesus Christ. Encourage us to make this our prayerful focus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray now in silence. Let us pray for ourselves and for the future for a happy holiday time, for the safety of for those who travel, for families and friends, for help and guidance in the new school year, and for continuing growth in faith and hope and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear us, Heavenly Father, as we offer our prayers to you, the prayers we have said and the listened, and the listened prayers of our hearts. Through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Let us pray the words Jesus used to teach the disciples how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Advent Poem 2020 by Thomas N. Malson. With every passing day, as sunlight disappears, the ducks, the dusk, descends and, pr and prayers ascend from s for strength to calm our fears. Uncertain in this time, when rancor seems to reign, and illness sleeps within its wake, such as sadness, grief, and pain. Yet soon a star will shine. Look up. Keep watch and wait. Then hear within a newborn's cry, the love that conquers hate, that love whose light becomes the dawn of God's new day, when peace and justice will prevail and sorrows flee away. We are blessed to have so many students and staff involved in the planning, preparation, and celebration of today's liturgy. Thank you to the ministry team involved in the preparation of today's liturgy. Thank you to the staff and students with leading in ministries, including our student and staff readers, musicians and singers. A special thank for the composing and preparation of our music by Mr. Lorenzen, Director of Music. And finally, thank you, for, thank you all for your prayerful participation in our end of year liturgy. Closing prayer. A blessing prayer for the end of school year. Christ, teachers and Lord, bless all who belong to our learning faith community as we seek to end our year. With the grace you so generously provide, 
We give thanks for the students, the college staff, and families, and all who have contributed. To this year, like no other, our nu nutrition and growth. We affirm all the positive moments of insight and excitement of learning, of accomplishments, of creativity, of laughter, of sense of community. We recognize this time of struggle, of difficult work, of misunderstanding, even of failure. We give these to you for transformation, so we can become seeds that will find fertile soil. As we leave for the summer, may we take, us, we, may we take with us the knowledge that we that the knowledge that you will keep us all in your embrace so we may rest and be restored and so that we can continue in the ongoing discovery of your love. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the sign of the cross, in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. This is a nation, this is a land, this is a future, this is our home, a land of reaping, a land of harvest, this is our land, this is our home, this is a great sound. Of the Holy Spirit, a land of red dust, place and summer rains. To the sunburned land, we will see a flood. To this great south land, the Spirit comes. This is a nation. This is our land, this land of plants, in this land of hope. The richest harvest is in her peoples. We see revival, His Spirit comes. This is the great south land of the hope. This is our nation, this is our land, this lucky country of dreams gone dry, and to these people we see a harvest, and to this land His Spirit Spirit come.